Welcome back to the show. Another reason I love doing this show is because we highlight the amazing things that young people do in our community. And I will say it's unfortunate that sometimes in the media we focus on some of the negative things when there are so many great things that are happening in our community and they are led by our youth and World Changing Kids has helped bring that along in so many ways. Lindsay Barr joining me, the founder of World Changing Kids. Welcome, great Thank to have you, you here, Lindsay. Um, I have an exciting project to, to talk about, but yeah. um, for those not familiar with World Changing Kids, tell us the, the inspiration behind it, because I, I just think it's wonderful. Yeah, Lindsay. so World Changing Kids is very community built, and it started, uh, I wrote a book with 75 acts of kindness that kids can do in their community. And that's kind of for ages two to 10. So get the kids started early, like knowing they're powerful, knowing they can make a difference. And then World Changing Kids has grown as my kids and all the kids I took care of mm -hmm. got older. And now it's focusing more on social justice, environmental activism, community building, which leads us into this workshop. Into this particular yeah. workshop. It's called Project of Heart. Yeah. Tell me about uh, the, the inspiration behind this project. So this is an amazing project that I am honored to be a part of. So it was started by a teacher named Sylvia Smith in 2007 and okay. it's uh, it's a reconciliation project so it's talking about residential schools and it's the truth of residential schools and it's empowering kids to learn about this and then take actions to help make it better so right. the idea that giving kids agency to like change their own world and the idea that action is the antidote to anxiety mm. so kids can hear about all this like Right now in the news, you know, there's star blanket Cree Nation where another remains of potentially 2,000 yeah. children were found. It can really be hard to take that news and for kids to hear that news and not know what they can do to help make it better. So this project is hands-on, you're learning about the issue, and then you're creating tiles. You're doing an art right. project. Um, and it's led by youth. Yeah. yeah, and what's uh, this is, again, why I, I love what you do, because you've learned so much from young people, yeah. right? And oftentimes we sort of dismiss what young people have to say. Yeah. Holy cow, have you learned a lot from them? Yeah, every day I learn from them. Yeah. They are amazing. So this, so the original Project of Heart that Sylvia Smith created is run in schools by teachers right. okay. for the most part, which is awesome. And yeah. I recommend every teacher reach out to them and get a project started at your school. But we have this amazing opportunity because World Changing Kids is more community focused. We're, gonna, we're running these workshops in the community. Okay. And it's ages, you know, kids kind of were saying eight plus, okay. but then all ages. So we want, you know, grandparents coming. We want just even community members who want to be a part of it and don't have a child to bring. Like you're invited to come right. to our first workshop. We had a university student and then we had strangely a reporter who was visiting from Sweden. Who oh, joined really? it. Yeah, just so it's like, it's you know, on top of the other okay. families we had with us. So everybody's invited. Anybody who wants to learn more about the issue and take action. Yeah, this is about I, I think you combine what storytelling, conversation and art. Oh, and I'm 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 holding up yeah. one of these these art pieces. So um, the art portion, is it inspired by the conversations and the learning that, that's happening? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we learn about residential schools in general. And right. then we learn our our focus is particularly the residential school in Rankin Inlet, which okay. was actually Actually, the last one to close. It didn't close until 1997. Unbelievable. Yeah. So it. The first step we do is we make these beautiful little tiles. Yeah, here, I'm going to grab um, one yeah. of these and just show it to camera. Yeah. Oh, that uh, might be a little. As I as, as I ruin it. There we on go. You. <laughs> it was a little. A little. Yes. So uh, we learn about it and we learn from youth. So I have an amazing advisory circle of Indigenous youth. Uh, my main partner is Jesse Kigutak Metcalf, okay. who is a young Anuk who who helps me out with this, and they you know share their lived experience being right. an Anuk youth, youth and and uh, Indigenous knowledge holder. Um, so I learn from Jesse every day that, that we do these workshops. So we do these tiles, and then these are added to a traveling exhibit. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, because there's yeah, a... Yeah, we're seeing a photo oh, of okay. it just here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're building... A couple hundred tiles are needed, and then they're going to go be part of this traveling exhibit representing all the residential schools that were in Canada. So that's the purpose of this, is that it goes around and, and, it, and it gets built and it, and it tells, yeah. tells a story, yeah. right? Yeah. So it helps, it inspires other people to go on this learning journey. And then you have the necklaces, yeah. which we are making as our social justice action piece because we sell them as a fundraising fundraiser for justice for Indigenous women to support their efforts to bring traditional Inuit birthing practices back to Nunavut. So there's just, it's, it keeps going. Well, yeah, <laughs> and, well, and, and you know, something like that really comes full circle, yeah. right? Yeah. What have you learned from, from this experience so far, just you personally, Lindsay? Well, what I've learned the most, what, I've, what I love is a lot of the times we talk about um, Indigenous issues, we talk about residential schools, and it's really focused on the trauma. 
Right. And it's focused on all the negative. And what we're doing through this, being led by the youth, is we're focusing, we're learning about that because it's important to know of the course. truth. Yeah. But then we're focusing on the beauty and the brilliance of Indigenous culture. And we're focusing on Indigenous strength and resilience instead of the trauma. So the kids that are kind of coming up learning through this are going to have such a beautiful you know, outlook on Indigenous culture. Well, yeah, and, and, and as you said, learning about the serious issues, but I think it's important to learn about the culture and, and the art and the yeah. food and all of these things combined. These are the, you know, the original people that helped build this country, yeah. right? Yeah. And, the, you know, and I think it's almost like, you know, I was saying to Sherry Cole a little bit earlier about the conversation we're having around mental health and how far we've come in the past decade. Unfortunately, it hasn't been that long with Indigenous issues, but it's coming to the forefront, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. And definitely with the discovery of the remains that happened in Kamloops mm -hmm. a year or so ago, potentially two, time is... Yeah, and well, during during COVID, yes. time has uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, gone by. So um, I do think people are more open to hearing about this. Right. Like it's shocking and it's wrong. And, and then if you can give kids something they can do to help while they're already thinking about it, you can move, move it forward. So if people want to bring this to their community center, to their school, as you said, yeah. Sylvia would be happy to you know, have them reach out. Yep. What's the best way to find out more information? Um, they could email me at okay. worldchangingkids at gmail.com um, or visit the Project of Heart website. Um, we would be happy to do a community workshop anywhere and everywhere if you know we were invited yeah. in. Okay. Um, yeah, and then schools can do it through their classrooms as well. Yeah, and and you have the tools. I think yeah. that's the the best thing, right? Instead yeah. of because we can all engage on online and try to find things, but the fact that you've put it together, and of course Sylvia has already put something together, makes it makes it easy for for yeah. everybody to get involved. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay, always appreciate your you joining us here on the show. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, coming Thanks. up after the break, we'll tell you about uh, an important. Important Awareness Month, the Ottawa Humane Society is, of course, always encouraging you to spay and neuter, and we'll tell you why it's important right after this. Don't go anywhere.